What's up guys, Glock9 here playing a new survival game called Raft. Just came out on Steam. Uh, it is an early access game, but it's been it's been in development for quite a while, I believe. And you can tell, because it just looks great, it feels great. It just seems like it's just a real polished game. So uh, I'm really excited to see how much more this game grows. Uh, so we're going to start a new world, normal difficulty. We'll call it YouTube. And let's just get started. Um, I've put maybe an hour into this game as of right now, just to kind of sort of figure out what's going on. You start on this two by two raft, and you just have this one tool here that you can use to kind of fetch all of your, you know, loot or, uh, you know, items here. If it gets close enough to the raft like that, you can pick it up uh, without having to use the tool. Uh, otherwise, you got to use the tool to get all of the loot. Um, well, you can make a paddle, and then you can kind of use the paddle to paddle, paddle your way towards the loot and pick it up and stuff like that. So we'll probably do that here shortly. Uh, like I said, about an hour into this game just to kind of figure out the basics so I'm not stumbling around and I kind of know what I'm doing, but I don't really know uh, what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what the best strategy is here in terms of like what's the first thing we should be doing. Um, I know you definitely want to get a spear built. Uh, pretty early on because there is a shark in the water and and he will constantly be attacking our raft and the only way to fend him off is with the spear I mean there might be more ways down the road but uh, the only weapon you can make right now is a spear and uh, so we want to do that because this way he doesn't eat our raft and uh, we want to make a paddle we want to uh, you know you're gonna need food and water there's that shark right now. There he is. Swam under our boat. Um, so I'm going to just keep start making some rope out of these palm tree leaves and kind of throw everything up in my inventory because as you get stuff, it, it just goes, it like by default goes into your uh, tool belt or your hot bar. I like to call it a tool belt. And uh, I just like to throw it up in the inventory so it doesn't bother me. But basically, we've got these palm tree leaves, we've got wood planks, and we've got plastic. And then those barrels, like there's, well, there's a barrel coming here right now. You always want to try and grab those because they're filled with all sorts of stuff. Because like right now, like if I get, we'll go, just go for the barrel. All right, so now on the bottom right, bam, a whole bunch of stuff we got. So a whole bunch of planks, rope, and stone. Sometimes there'll be food in there. Oh, look at that grab. That's like three things in one grab. Otherwise, if you just get like this plastic here, it's just going to give us one plastic. And oh, the, the it gave us three of those those palm leaves, which is good. But the barrels are definitely the best things to get. Uh, look at all that stuff. Whoop! Oh shit! Get in! Get back up there! So there you go. So you can obviously jump into the water and uh, grab some materials if you need to. But you definitely want to be careful that shark. Uh, if he's around, he will attack. He will come right for you. And uh, you can take a couple of hits without dying, and you know, as long as you can get back on your raft really quickly, you'll be good because your health actually ju it just regenerates. So even if you do take a hit or two from the shark, as long as you can get back on your raft and chill for a little bit, your health will just start regenerating. And uh, so then I don't know if that's something they're going to change or fix because that that kind of makes it pretty easy. You know, I think maybe you would need to like eat food to get your health to regen, but for it to just kind of regenerate on its own. Um, maybe that's just because it's normal difficulty, maybe on hard difficulty that, that, that that's not the case, but I'm not sure. So, uh, anyway, we're just, you know, the beginning, it starts off kind of slow, even though you've got to move pretty quickly to just kind of get as much materials uh, on you as you can. And what are we going to do? We're going to make a spear right off the bat. We're going to make a spear and we're going to make a paddle. Um, and we're going to make a hammer that we can use to either repair our raft or you use that to build build onto your raft it's basically your build tool that hammer but we're, we're good right now so we got all of our we got we got all the tools we need and if you can see too at the the bottom the, the all the way the far left of our tool belt this tool I'm using it does uh, you know it, it loses its health uh, everything you have all your tools have health except for the um, except for the build hammer that doesn't so you, you want to definitely keep an eye on that and uh, make a new one when you need to. Make some rope. Uh, we can't make an axe yet, but we want to try and make an axe also uh, as quick as we can because there's an island coming up right now. 
in the distance. And if we can get an axe built before we get to that island, see with the paddle we can kind of... We can move where we want and just pick stuff up. Makes it a little easier than using that tool. But yeah, if we can get a um, an axe built, then we can kind of jump off of that island real quick and, and chop down a couple of trees and get some wood or some planks and probably some, some food also, maybe some mangoes or some coconuts. Uh, I'm trying to get this barrel over here. Oh shit, here we go. So, yeah, you just want to stab him a couple of times. He'll let go. Now, he did some damage to the raft, but which we can repair. And we will in a second. Here, I'll show you right now, actually. Let's just do it. Boom. Repaired. We're good to go. Now, if I didn't have a spear and the shark started biting onto my raft, he wouldn't let go until he broke that piece completely off. And then we would, you know, we'd have to rebuild. Or eventually he would just eat our whole raft and we die. So that's why I kind of like to make a spear right away. So, uh... I don't think we're going to be able to make an axe. Uh, definitely not, because we don't we don't have... Uh, we're missing some scrap, I think. Which you can only get from the barrels. At this point, anyway. But now, we don't have an anchor either, but if we kind of just push our raft up against here... Uh, can we grab those off the tree? No, we can't. What if I hit the tree with this? Can I do that? No, I can't. Uh, so our raft is kind of pushed up against the island right now from the current. And it, it should stay there. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, we got a couple of watermelons. That's good. I think that's all we're going to be able to get from this island right now. But that's good. Watermelon gives you uh, hunger and and thirst. So that's good. But yeah, I think that's that's all we're getting from this island. Usually, though, you know, you can build an anchor and you'll be able to anchor your raft. But that's pretty, you know, not all islands are going to be as easy as as, as this you know, in terms of putting your uh, your raft up against it. Because if it does happen to break free, you're screwed. You know, you're stranded on the island, and that's pretty much game over for you. So I don't know what that is in the distance there. That's uh, probably another raft, stationary raft with some stuff on it. We're going to see if we can get to it, though. Because there might be some food and who knows what else. There's always, like, uh, a storage chest on these little rafts that are just out in the middle of the ocean here. And you never know what's inside. So let's see if we can... The current isn't pushing us that way, but uh, I'm going to eat a watermelon real quick. So it gives us actually more thirst than it does fill us up with hunger, but that's okay. And you get two bites out of each watermelon. And we got some seeds here, so we're going to just throw some stuff up in our inventory. We just want to keep our food, our food and our tools on our belt. All right, let's see if we can make it over to this thing. So close, and <laughs> our paddle's about to break. Once it breaks, we're just going to jump in. All right, here we go. Let's just jump. Go for it. Just want to get grab that and get right back. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Oh, and he got us. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Got to get back up here. Wow. And that raft is sinking now. Uh, let's build out our raft now as much as we can. There we go. That's good. Should we build some more? No. Let's eat this. Wow. Yeah, that shark took more than half of our health away. But as you can see, it is already starting to regenerate. So we're good. And there's a big island pretty much straight ahead. Can we, and we can't build an axe yet. We're going to get another paddle. And probably you've noticed also there's no crafting time. You know, you pick an item you want to craft, you hit craft, and it's done. There's no crafting time. So, I don't know if that's something they plan on implementing later on or what, but it's kind of nice to tell you the truth because everything is happening so fast in this game. Like I said, it's, it feels like it starts off slow, but it's not. You have to constantly be um, looking for materials, you know, uh, to grab. And there's going to be times where you have to, you know, craft something or cook food or get water or whatever it is you got to do, and you're going to miss out on whatever materials are floating by. Now, if you miss out on some planks or some plastic, whatever, but you always want to try and grab the, the barrels when you see them. And that's what we're looking out for now. Because I need a piece of scrap. And, oh, shit. Get out of here. Oh. 
Sometimes it's three pokes, sometimes it's four. Okay, there's a barrel right there. So hopefully that gives us a piece of scrap, and then we can make an axe, and hopefully we can get up on this island. Uh, did it give us one? No, it didn't. It did not. Uh, there's one pushed up against the side of this island, though. Alright, let's jump in and grab that barrel. So I don't think we could reach it from here. There we go. There was a piece of scrap in there, so we can build our axe. We need to build another one of these tools, also. Plastic hook. Alright, so that's good. Let's get the axe. Good. And... Whoops. I don't think we're going to be able to get up on this island, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, we're already starting to drift past it, so... That sucks. If I had an anchor, I could toss it in right now, anchor the anchor the raft, and, and probably get up this way right here, but... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that, so... That sucks. Uh, oh well. We just continue on, and... Hopefully we can make it up on the next island. Alright, let's just grab this here. And now, let's craft... Um... A grill. That will allow us to cook food. So, uh, let's just grab a couple more of this, this stuff here while we can. Oh, that got away from us. We definitely want to grab this barrel here. Oh, shit. There we go. And some plastic. What else? All right. Let's throw the cooking grill right here in the middle. We get, you got to put some planks down there at the bottom, and then you just put a piece of food on top, and the fire automatically starts. Now, let's make our purifier here so we can get some water. I'll show you how this works. Get the purifier right there. And then we have to make a cup, which is just plastic. Now, with the empty cup in hand... Oh, i got to put some planks at the bottom of that purifier also. Now, uh, with the empty cup in hand, you can pick up some sea water... Uh, and then you pour it in there, fire automatically starts, and it will turn that into drinkable water. So, uh, we got a decent amount of food. I mean, not much, but we got some, uh, we got a potato. And some beets. And, uh, we basically have infinite water. As long as we have planks to, uh, to distill the seawater into drinkable water. But there's planks everywhere, so... All right, let's build our raft out a little bit. We'll do it like this so it's a little bit wider on the front for now. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh! Shark. Whoop. There we go. All right. Oh, we can't repair that. We need... Uh, we need planks. You know, when I first... I haven't really watched many videos on this game. Um, I knew it was coming, and I've had it on my wish list for a while. And um, I was kind of iffy about it, you know? I was like, oh, I don't know, is that going to be boring, just floating around on a raft in the, middle of the, in the middle of the ocean, you know? But it's honestly a lot of fun. I don't know how fun it is to watch. Uh, you guys let me know. You know, this is part one. I thought we would do a series on this game, but if, if, if you guys aren't feeling it, then uh, that's fine. You know, it can just be this this one part here to kind of showcase the game. But I, I, I'm going to keep playing it. I'm I'm really enjoying it. But like I said, I don't know how, how great it is to watch. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this video. Let me know, though, down in the comments below. And uh, I will definitely keep this series going uh, if you guys are enjoying it. All right, the sun is coming up. We need to cook some food here. We'll eat that potato. Throw a beet down. Get some planks down there. Let's get some water going as well. Uh, oh, you know what? We gotta put some planks down there. Alright, so that's actually uh, making some water right now. So, we've got the grill, we've got the water purifier. Um, we're gonna want to build ourselves some storage. And then probably the research table, I guess. That will let us learn these blueprints we have. 
that we've picked up from the barrels. Look, we just got another one. And it'll help us open up other recipes as well. So I think that's probably the best thing to do, I guess, in terms of what to craft next. And we definitely want an anchor also. So if we come up on another island and we can't get our raft stuck up against it, we can anchor. And not have to worry about our raft drifting away. Alright, here we go. We can make the small storage, so let's do that. Uh, put it down right there. Yeah, that's good. There's not much room in this storage, but there's enough. It's going to help, for sure. All right, we actually have what we need to make a research table, but first, let's make an anchor. And we'll put it... Uh, we got to rotate it. Just put it there for now. It's a one-time use thing, so uh, basically you pick up the, uh, the bucket, toss it overboard. That will anchor you. And then to uh, remove, and then you have to remove the anchor to continue on, and then that's it. You basically just throw that in the water, and it's just a one-time use. I'm pretty sure later on in the game you can buy an anchor that you can use over and over again. Uh, you know, it's like a drop-down anchor, where this is just a, a one-and-done type deal. All right, we got a nice big island coming up, so we want to make sure we hit this thing. Now, there are some really tall islands that you can't jump on. The only way to get up on there is to build up. And there's, like, elevated uh, blocks you can build on your raft. There's stairs. So you can build up to, like, a second, third, fourth level, as high up as you want to go. And that's what you have to do to get up on top of some of these big, tall islands. But it looks like down here on the right side, we're going to be able to jump up there without having to build up. Uh, hopefully. Let's see. Let's see. I think so. I think we'll, we'll be all right. Our paddle is about to break, and it's gone. Uh, all right, let's just toss this in now. That's, that's what we got to do. And hopefully we can get up over here. Uh, I don't know. This is iffy. Can we get up here? Come on. Yes. All right. Good. We're up. We got an axe. Uh, let's chop down the trees first. Those flowers, um, it says, when you pick them up and you check them, it says can be used for color. So I don't know what to uh, use those on yet. You know, what we might want to color. I don't, I don't know. So that's why I'm holding off on picking them up for now, just because we have limited inventory space. And, you know, food is, is uh, way more important right now. But we'll eat what we can, and we'll pick up what we can, and uh, maybe we'll grab some of those flowers. We'll see. Uh, okay. Uh, we got to get up here. Can we make that jump? No? Um, shit, we gotta be able to get up there. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's cut this thing down. We might just stay here now for the night. I mean, we got the boat anchored. You know, here we go, storage chest. Whoa, that gave us a whole bunch of stuff. Metal, nails. Uh, let's make some rope. Uh, whoops, actually made another anchor by accident, but that's okay. Now we have another anchor. Uh, yeah, make a whole bunch of rope. Um, I'm not gonna jump down there yet. I don't think, uh, I think that's really the only other place we can go. Or, oh, no, around here. Nice, got some watermelons. So, let's try and organize this real quick, and let's eat one. We got mangoes. We got a coconut. And this should give us more mangoes. Yeah, so, be pretty good on food. We can go ahead, too, and make a uh, fishing rod. And go fishing also. So, we're looking good right now. We're going to chop down... Uh, see, watch, watch when I pick this up. See, it just says, can be used to make color. So, whatever. Um, I'm not too worried about the flowers right now. Uh, let's see, can we, I don't know if we can get up there. And I'm not jumping down there yet. What about right here? 
Can this get us up here? I don't no way. Um Yeah. Oh here we go. Cut these down. Yes, yeah, so I don't think you can build, right? Yeah, you can only build on your raft. It's not like I can build stairs right here. Or where is there like here oh here's the elevated. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. So maybe if my raft was just really tall, then I can use that to get up there? I don't know. But, uh, here, let's jump down here. See what we got. I know we're at least going to cut this tree down. And, uh, that might be it. Oh, we got another tree right here. And let's see, I think this... Does this wrap around? Can we make it without falling in? Yes, we can. And this is where we started. This is where we got up. So let's just get back on our raft. Kind of sort things out. Alright, we got plenty of planks, so we're gonna build up build up our raft a bit. But I'm gonna leave this spot open right there. We're gonna uh, yeah, let's build there, and I want to build another one right there, but we got to wait until we drop that anchor. Can't build it with the anchor in place. Um, but I left that spot open in the back, and I'm going to keep it open, so when we can get a more permanent anchor, that will be kind of like a hole in the middle of our ship, or our raft, <laughs> or what will become like our base, essentially. That's what this place becomes, a floating base. So let's build uh, a fishing rod. We can always get some fish pretty easily. Cook them up. Um, should we continue to build out the raft? Or hold off on the pl and keep the planks handy? Because it's planks and plastic. We definitely want to build a research table. So let's do that. Boom. Set it right there. Can open it up. Oh, our uh, blueprints are in the storage. Let's take those out. Come over here, open up the research table, drag the blueprints up there, hit research, and done. Uh, let's drag the other one up there, hit research, done. And now you can also bring, like, items up there. So, like, you can research the uh, all these different items you have. Oh, shit, is the shark? Yep. Get out of here. And if you notice, every time the shark attack, it's the same shark that keeps attacking you. And every time you fend him off like that, he's, ta he's taking damage. So eventually, we'll, we'll wind up killing him. And then I'm sure another one will come along. But see right there, by researching the rope, we were able to learn uh, the rug. Uh, how to make a rug. So by researching these different items, you can learn um, new stuff. By researching the plank, I just figured out how to make a chair. So that's kind of cool and interesting. I don't want to do the nail yet because we don't have that many. And I don't want to do plastic or scrap yet because we don't have that many of that stuff. Because you lose one when you when you research it. So anyway, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Our raft is looking good. We've got some good stuff built. We've got storage. We've got food. We've got a fishing rod. You know, we can get water. We can cook our food. We've got a research table. Uh, we just want to keep building out our raft and uh, seeing what else, you know, I guess just see what else we want to make. And uh, go from there. We've got another anchor on us. So if we need to anchor up near another island, we can do that. And yeah, so uh, let me know. Like I said earlier in the video, let me know what you think about this game and what you think about this series. I'd love to continue it on because I am having a lot of fun playing this game. And I'm just interested to see how far we can take it and how crazy we can build this, this raft or this floating base that we have here. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all of the support. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. And uh, stick around for, for uh, part two of this series, as well as part four for my Billion Dollar Club 7 Days to Die series. And I will catch you guys in the next video.